The cover story in the current issue of National Geographic magazine chronicles the ways in which people brought and are still bringing the American Civil War to life. Those magazine's editors did not consult with 12-year-old Austinite Andrew Drewart, but new at 10, KXAN's Jim Swift tells us they could have. In the middle of a vicious storm, a father and a son head out into the rainfall to dazzle a bunch of Boy Scouts with a dynamic show and tell. Drewart was just 10 years old when he fell in with some Civil War reenactors and got an itch to fire a musket. Turns out he was too small for that then. The rule was you have to be taller than the top of the musket, and so now he's taller than the top of the musket, so we've taught him how to do it. But it's, it's also, I think, understanding that when you hold that weapon and seeing how the, the bullets would have come out and the power... I think it gives you a little more understanding when you see the smoke, what the battlefield must have been like, where you might not be able to see 20 feet in front of you. This would actually be the average size of a Civil War soldier, because when you think about it, they didn't have hamburgers or hot dog or macaroni and cheese. Andrew is 12 years old now, and with his father, Tad Druart, he makes presentations to school and scout groups about Civil War battlefields and the importance of saving them from the development of Walmart stores and apartments complexes. It all started with a fairly routine visit two years ago to the site of the Battle of Gettysburg. I just got a feeling and when I could close my eyes I could actually picture seeing a line of gray soldiers in butternut a mile long coming towards us. When you were marching 12 miles a day this kind of got a little tiring to carry so most soldiers just threw them out. Idle curiosity suddenly took a back seat to passionate fervor. What I like to say is when you destroy battlefields, it's just basically erasing history. We're not here glorifying the Civil War. We don't want people to think it was a great, fun thing to play. It, it was very deadly. It's not enough to just to go to the battlefield for him. We, we visit the national cemeteries. He uh, learns about the soldiers that died there and, 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 and can tell me those stories. Every time we go there, we play taps and take off our hats and just sit for a moment and recognize that these men did fight for their country and die here. This is where Lee's final line was. I'm here at the Manassas National Battlefield in Virginia. I'm here at the Battle of Raymond just outside of Jackson. So Andrew travels from battlefield to battlefield, updating his website and his YouTube and Facebook pages, all the while raising money, $10,000 so far, for the Civil War Trust campaign to save those hallowed grounds. Jim Swift, KXAN News. Good work, Andrew. Well, next month he will be traveling to Richmond, Virginia for the Civil War Trust's annual conference. Andrew will accept the first award ever given by the Trust to a young person for efforts to save the war's battlefields. You can learn more about that and visit his internet sites through some links that we have for you in the Austin headline section of KXAN.com. Quite enough.